What up, everybody? It's your boy School back at it. Yeah, um, y'all have to excuse me for my absence. I've been at home the whole time, but yeah, I just been waiting on some new product to arrive. But now it finally showed up. Yeah, nothing major, just a couple of items. Now let's get into it. Yeah, this is my launch of Stratos from Mini GT. And I got an announcement to make about this. Um, fun fact, this is my very first Mini GT casting. Uh, yeah, so I'm excited about this. And I got another thing, uh, something else in this box too. I'll save that for, for last. But right now I want to get into this Mini GT launch of Stratos. Hold on, yeah. Let me get some scissors. Yeah, I'm back. And check this out. Um, we got this Lancia Stratos HF Stradale. And this nice red right here. You know what? This is a pretty heavy little thing. I uh, wish I had my, my Hot Wheels uh, version out of it out probably should have thought about that but you know it don't look to be you know that much smaller I know the Hot Wheels casting has to be just a little bit bigger but you know it seems like you know it's it's pretty similar in size let me show y'all some of the details Strauss I don't know if I'm, uh, well, that's the sweet spot right there. Got the Bertone logo. Uh, those are the people who designed the car. I believe it was designed by, um, what's his name? Marcello Gandini. Yeah. He worked at Ber Bertone at the time. He's the same dude that designed, you know, all your favorite supercars. Well, most of them. Uh, mainly Lamborghinis, like the Lamborghini Countach, Lamborghini Mura, and a lot of other stuff. He definitely did a great job on this one. But anyway, you know, this is a great rally car, if you didn't know. If you're not too familiar with this car, it won a lot of rally championships back in the day, way back in the 70s. Probably... This is probably my favorite rally car of all time, just because of the way it looks. I mean, what car looks like this nowadays? Even a supercar or a, or a hypercar. You just wouldn't be able to uh, replicate this design. Oh yeah, um, another thing. The Lancia Stratos also had a Ferrari engine, you know, straight from the Dino. You know, just in, you know, V6. But it sounds, it sounds great. Uh, I highly suggest, you know, pulling up a video of a Ferrari Dino. And then just, just listen to it. It's a great, you know, mechanical sound. And then not only just that, you know, just admire the way it looks. And while you're at it, you know, pull up some few videos of you know, this car, the Lancia Stratos. You find that those two cars have more in common than you think. And that is, you know, if you can, you know, set aside enough time. But anyway, this is this is nice. Look, it looks like these headlights are separate. See that? I mean, this is fantastic detail. You know, metal base. You know, nothing that indicates the name of the car on the bottom. That's something that Mini GT might need to work on. 
but you know, it's all good. Um, at least it's screwed it screwed together. Yeah, that's what I like. It ain't premium if it ain't screwed together, I'd say. Basically, those are just, you know, like the name plates of the manufacturer and the car. And they got these headlights, you know, they're not even, they're not, they are painted, but they're not painted. You know, they're like uh, the jewel headlights, which is a nice little touch. Something that you'll see in a lot of Mini GT uh, castings. Yeah, this is really nice. And I really like this muffler right here in the exhaust. Those exhausts actually go in pretty deep. Yeah, boy, they really thought of everything with this car. So, yeah, that's my Lancia Stratos. And then here's another thing. Uh, this is a pretty neat touch. I thought I was going to have to, uh, put this back in, but then it's a little big, but then, um, I opened this box, got a nice little surprise. You know, it's got its own little tray in there. Yeah, the boxes have their own little trays, so you can just stick the car right in there. Man, that's really cool. And then just slide it right into the back in the box. Yo, that's pretty dope. So there's that. There's my launch of Stratos for Mini GT folks. Yeah, and here's another thing that I bought. Um, I don't know. It was just a little spur of the moment kind of thing. Um, but I just figured, you know, I'd buy one of these uh, these bikini car wash girl sets for for dioramas. You know, I and but the thing is, I hadn't even built a diorama yet because. The biggest problem is space, you know. Then that shit takes up a whole lot of space. So that's why I hadn't gotten started on dioramas yet. Hadn't gotten into them. But, you know, let's, without further ado, let's get into it before I make this video too long with my jibber jabber. Oh yeah, that's the back. American Diorama. That's the name. Well, the name of the set, anyway. Oh yeah, uh, this is from Tarmac Works, by the way. Dump these bitches out. Oh, these are metal. Wow. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, I guess the, this is what these things are for. Uh, they kind of keep them in place. But anyway, uh, we'll work with that just a little bit later. You know, check out the babes. They even got their own little water buckets. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, had a little accident right there. I've been doing some customizing. 
Yeah, it got nicked by the, the old Dremel. Yeah, safety first, folks. Safety first, kids. But it ain't too bad. Didn't really hurt that bad. Just got to wear my gloves next time. But anyway, yeah. You know what? Yeah. Hold on. I, I got something else I want to show you. But it's related to this. Give me a minute. Yeah, this is what I bought these girls for. Uh, so, I figured I could, you know, I bought some of this blue stuff right before I, I bought all this stuff. If you're not, if you hadn't heard of blue stuff, it's this, it's these little sticks that you can uh, make into a mold. You just, all you got to do is, you know, put these in some hot water for about, five minutes and then that start getting soft but you only got a few minutes to work with before they start getting hard again but after that you know you use that part uh, for one half of the mold and then you use the other sticks for like the other half of the mold the second half and then you know once that get hard you know and then throw your putty in there like I got right here. Yeah, that's what you can use uh, use to mold these figures with. Yeah, a lot of people use them for, you know, different stuff. You know, I'm using these for these ladies right here. You know, there's somebody's going to remind you of some legal mumbo jumbo uh, in accordance to... Um, to molding figures but it ain't like I'm selling this shit it's just you know I'm just making some extra girls so I can you know make my own car wash staff cause you know I want to make some girls in all different colors different color skin different color hair all that that's all I'm using it for is my own personal use Yo, pump out my, my squad. Oh, yeah. It's a little bit out of season for the, uh, for them anyway. Since it's already getting to be fall. But next year, yeah, they're going to be working. And then there's the sign right here. Bikini car wash. It goes up there like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be tight. By the way, uh, this this putty right here is called Epo Putty. I just, you know, put it in that bag since, you know, it took up too much space in my box. But, yeah, that's some good shit. But, anyway, uh, I just want to thank y'all for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you all for your patience. I really appreciate it. Oh yeah, shout out to all the new subscribers. You know what? I ended up getting a lot of subscribers this week. Now, I was really surprised. I usually don't get that many subscribers at one time. more like it <laughs> well anyway um, if you're wondering where I got these from uh, this is I bought these from super mini wheels off of eBay um, I don't know they got a lot of stuff from Hot Wheels to Mini GT to Tarmac Works that's where I get a lot of my premium die cast at 
Um, they're not really that. Um, they are pretty pricey just because of what they are. But from these from these folks, you know, they're not that much more expensive. Um, it's just. It's just the fact that I just like uh, I found another place where I can waste money on and then um, feel good about it. So, yeah, shout out to Super Mini Wheels. So anyway, I'm finally going to be out of here. All right, John. Have a good one. You know, keep subscribing.